Hi everyone, it's Coach Fred and I'm going to be going over from um, Practice Test 3 from the College Board Official Study Guide for the SAT, Practice Test 3 Math Calculator, question number 34. Um, noticing this is a free response question. Um, and it says, in circle with center O, central angle AOB has a measure of 5 pi over 4 radians. Okay, so we're talking radians here. And the area of the sector formed by central angle AOB is what fraction of the area of the circle? All right, so we have to remember that when we're talking about area of sectors, that the central angle tells me the fraction um, of the circle, of the area of the whole circle. It's a proportional relationship. But because in, this is in radians, normally we put the central angle over 360 degrees um, and we can get the fraction of the area that we're talking about. Um, for example, if I gave you a circle that looked like this and the central angle was 90 degrees, well then I know the area is, the fractional part of the area is going to be one-fourth of the area of the whole circle. So really all I have to do is find the central angle over 360, but in this case, because it's radians, radians is in, this is in degrees, we would do our central angle, which they told us was 5 pi over 4, over the radian measure for, that represents 360 degrees, which is 2 pi. All right, so you have some options here for simplifying this. Um, 5 pi over 4 divided by 2 pi, you could multiply both fractions, this complex fraction, you can multiply the top by 4 and the bottom by 4. Well, why? Because this is the number 1. So in the top fraction, the 4s would cancel, you'd be left with 5 pi, where in the bottom fraction, you'd multiply 2 pi over 4, or 2 pi times 4, and you'd get 8 pi. Simplify, and you get that the fraction is 5 eighths. All right. Well, if you're used to fra uh, simplifying fractions another way, 5 pi over 4 divided by 2 pi, um, you may remember that this is asking how many times does 2 pi go into 5 pi over 4, and your teacher might have taught you a, a trick, it's really a trick, um, that we keep the numerator, so 5 pi over 4. We change from division, because the fraction bar is division, to multiplication, and we flip the denominator, so that would become 1 all over 2 um, pi. And again, the pi's would cancel, and you'd get 5 over 8. So the fraction of the area of the circle is 5 over 8. All right, so just remember, when we're looking at the fraction of either the area of the sector, or we could even say the arc length, it will always be either the central angle over 360, or the central angle over 2 pi. All right, guys, hopefully that was a helpful video. Have a great day.